What's up guys? I'm on the Ledge Cove Bridge right now and uh, apparently that's where all the remnants of yesterday's protesters are relegated to but I don't really see that many of them. I only see like people taking pictures over here and yeah so this is the bridge that connects the Admiralty Station to the Ledge Cove Building or the Legislative Council and as you can see over here Here's where all the, a lot of the action was taking place last, last oh, yesterday, and la much of last night. Uh, the video footage that I took of, you know, cops pushing the bunch of guys off the, off the bridge was a block down that way. And uh, it's all quiet over here. Yeah, on the way here, I was talking to the taxi driver, and the taxi driver was saying, like, all the protesters are now relegated to this bridge. And, of course, it's a lot quiet now because the... LegCo, the Legislative Council, has decided to hold off for the time being on, on uh, debating the topic of the extradition bill. So things are a lot, a lot different now. You know, as you can see, traffic yesterday, this whole area was all sealed off by the protesters. And, you know, that's where all the clashes between the cops and the protesters were taking place. As you can see, traffic's been, it's all been cleared out and traffic's been flowing through as like like usually is same with the place that I was filming last night you know that area has been cleared off so so I mean things are things are a lot quiet now but I was just talking to the taxi driver on the way here and he says things are expected to pick up on Monday again because that's when they started to have the that's my I think that's around the time they started to have the, the re they go back to talking about you know debating the issue of the extradition bill so I mean that's so they're expected to come back out again and I also talking to my friend and he says that you know round three of the protests is planned to take place on this coming Sunday so I guess we'll see you know come Monday or come su Sunday or come Monday uh, we'll see how things go as you can see further up ahead there's still cops barricaded that area over there you know not letting you know not letting anyone pass through and I can see a bit more people over here. Uh, actually, I don't know if this. I'm gonna go go towards that way. See if that's where maybe the more of the protests are taking place. Start to see people wearing masks. I don't know. You know, it could be the protesters. You know, I see a lot more people down this area, and uh, this is the. Oh, check that out. The connection on the Legco building. Yeah. So this part is part of the Legislative Council, as is this part. And then back here is where the garden is, and where you can take the, have the view of the Hong Kong Harbor. And see the light show from the Kowloon side. Ah, uh, that's where, I think that's where all the protests are. Yeah, a lot more people here, so people are setting up booths over there. You know. Yeah, a lot more people over here. I think that's where all the protests are are taking place yeah people wearing uh, the yellow orange vests orange neon vests cops walking by yeah and you could tell the difference between the the command the officers from the lower end cops because you know the the ones the ones that are higher in rank they're usually in the white uniform where the lower rank cops are the ones who are dressed in blue. So that's where you can tell them apart. Oh yeah, there's a lot more people here. So I think the protesters are down towards the garden down here. And let me walk further down, yeah. So that's the entrance. Some of the guys are congregating over there. Yeah, and obviously things are a lot quiet, but that might change this coming weekend when they start debating the topic again. You know, I think people are still wearing masks. Get a nice shot of the interior of the Legco building. It looks like what well, looks like media crews over there. I can see like a tripod on this. Well, you we probably can't see it on that clearly on this video, but I can see like a tripod being propped up against the wall over there. So I think those are media crew. Good close shot of downstairs. Yep. 
Yeah, get a nice quick peep of the interior. And it's really late in the afternoon. It was raining really hard all day today. You know, it was heavy rain. So I wasn't able to get out here until really late. See, the guy holding camera, he's all covered in the, cover, the, covered the whole camera in plastic to protect from the rain, protecting their media equipment. Ah, and here it is. Got some barricades up further down ahead, I could see. Let me, let me see if we could get a better shot of that. Here it is, we got the barricades up. And the cops in riot gear over there. Uh, you can't see, it's kind of dark, but let me move over to get a better shot of that. Whoop. So you can see some of the cops in riot gear over here. Yep, uh, it's kind of dark, but yeah, you get they're wearing riot gear. I think it's from yesterday, and then most of the people are still there. That's where it looks like that's where everyone is, and they're singing songs and they're gathering. I think they're probably it's all quiet down now, but I think everyone's expecting it to pick up any time now. I think some of the church groups are down here because they're singing church songs, gospel music. Yeah, there's definitely church groups. Uh, there's because they're singing about Jesus over here. I just I just walk down here, show you guys beautiful light scene, and just to remind everyone, you know, despite all that's going on, Hong Kong is still so beautiful. Yeah, in this area over here, I mean, you see the traffic's. I'll just move over around this area. Just get a better shot of it. So this area looks like they've cleared out. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, the car's still moving out here. Yeah, this area was all blocked off. That's where you see the scene of, you know, the scene of, you know, those protesters marching down this area. They were marching down here and then putting barricades around a cop car. Yeah, that's that was taking place here. And then Move down here, and I guess the final shot is the light scene from the Kowloon side. I'll just leave you guys with that when I sign off. And look at that. I'm not sure you get this sort of scene, this sort of scene back in the states, or maybe not it, not every parts in the states. But uh, look, look at that. I don't think you could ever. That's one of the biggest highlights of Hong Kong. And let me see if I could get towards, go towards the, towards the, get a better shot of that. One second. Yeah, that bridge back there, by the way, I just, I just remembered. You know, that bridge back there that I started off this video at, you know, that's also the scene where back like a few years ago with the umbrella movements, you, that's where you, where the cops first tear gassed people. And you know, they caused a big outrage and you know, you can see that iconic shot of that guy holding an umbrella in the middle of all that tear gas. Yeah, that's where, back down there was where, you know, on the road is where that took place. So it's interesting how it all came full circle. But yeah, here it is. Let me guys just let me just leave you guys with this beautiful shot right here, of Hong Kong. Down there is the IFC building with that with that you know London Eye Ferris wheel type thing type uh, I don't know what you call it but yeah that ferris wheel over there over here that's I think that's IFC 2 and then yeah that's the Kowloon side over here yeah so I guess I'll just leave it here all right everyone peace